Konnichiwa, I'm Ono. In this video, I'll give you a complete guide on how to get from Narita Airport to Tokyo. There are many ways to reach Tokyo, so I'll help you find the one that works best for you. Consider the time, cost, and comfort to choose the option that fits your needs. In this way, I regularly share the latest information about traveling Japan and Japanese culture. If you're planning a trip to Japan or simply love everything about Japan, please push the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. All right, let's dive in. To begin with, let me briefly explain about Narita Airport. Narita Airport is located in Chiba Prefecture, about 60 kilometers away from central Tokyo. Opened in 1978, it's one of Japan's main international airports, welcoming millions of travelers each year. Narita has three terminals, Terminal 1, Terminal 2, and Terminal 3, each used by different airlines. Tokyo has two main airports, Narita and Haneda. Each has pros and cons in terms of location and access. Narita is farther from central Tokyo, so it can take over an hour by train or bus to get there, and even longer during rush hour. It's best to allow yourself some extra time. On the other hand, Haneda Airport is close near Tokyo Bay, and you can usually reach central Tokyo in about 30 minutes. If your flight offers a choice between the two, I'd recommend Haneda to save travel time. There are two main ways to get from Narita to Tokyo, by train or by car. Let's start with the train options. There are three main trains from Narita to Tokyo, the Narita Express, the Keisei Skyliner, and local trains. Each train station is conveniently located just down the escalator right in front of the Narita airport arrival gates. Number 1. Narita Express Narita Express is a direct train that connects Narita Airport with major Tokyo areas like Tokyo Station, Shinagawa, Shinjuku, and Shibuya. All seats are reserved, which makes it both comfortable and convenient. The seats are spacious, so you can stretch out and relax after a long flight. There's also dedicated luggage storage, so you don't need to worry about carrying bags around. Plus, there's free Wi-Fi throughout the train, which is great if you want to get online during your journey. The ride from Narita Airport to Tokyo Station takes about 1 hour, and it's around 1 hour 20 to 30 minutes to Shinjuku or Shibuya. A one-way ticket costs around 3,000 yen, and for tourists, there's a discount round-trip ticket called the Next Tokyo Round Trip Ticket which is great if you will be staying in Tokyo for at least two days. Number 2. Kesei Skyliner Next is Kesei Skyliner, operated by Kesei Electric Railway. The Skyliner provides quick access to northern Tokyo, like Nippori and Ueno stations. If you're staying in areas like Ueno, Asakusa, or Akihabara, this is a very convenient option. The Skyliner takes just 36 minutes from Narita Airport to Nippori Station, making it the fastest way to reach Tokyo. The fare is about 2,500 yen, which is a bit cheaper than the Narita Express. Like the Narita Express, it's all reserved seating, so you can secure your seat in advance, and it's also spacious and comfortable. The Skyliner also has free Wi-Fi on board, so you can look up your next destination or stay in touch with friends. You can buy tickets for both the Narita Express and Skyliner at ticket machines or information counters. Recently, staff have been helping visitors buy tickets, so even if it's your first time in Japan, you can feel confident buying your ticket. One important thing to remember is that the Narita Express and Kesei Skyliner are operated by different companies, so you'll need to buy tickets in different places. Make sure to check you're in the right spot when purchasing your ticket. Number 3. Local trains 
If you're looking to save money, using local trains is a budget-friendly option. The JR Sobu Line connects Narita Airport with Tokyo Station. It takes about 90 minutes and costs only 1,320 yen, making it very affordable. It stops at multiple stations along the way, so it takes longer than the Narita Express or Skyliner, but it's ideal if you want to keep costs low. Alternatively, there's also the Keisei Main Line, which offers access from Narita Airport to areas in eastern Tokyo, such as Nihonbashi, Asakusa, and Ginza. The fare is around 1,250 yen, and the trip takes about 75 minutes. You may need to transfer along the way, but this is a good option for budget-conscious travelers heading to eastern Tokyo. You can use Japan's Suica IC card on these local trains. Unfortunately, Suica can't be used on the Narita Express or Skyliner, but it's essential for traveling in Japan. So, make sure to get a Suica card as soon as you arrive at Narita Airport. For more information about Suica, check out my other video. These are the main train options, but keep in mind that Japanese trains don't operate overnight. The last trains leave around 12.30 a.m., so if you arrive late, you won't be able to take a train. So next, let's move on to travel options that are available around the clock. Number 4. Taxis. Taxis offer door-to-door -door service, which is convenient, especially if you have lots of luggage, are traveling with kids, or have limited mobility. Taxis take you directly to your destination, so you don't need to worry about transfers or schedules. However, taxis are one of the most expensive options, with fares from Narita Airport to central Tokyo typically ranging between 20,000 and 30,000 yen, depending on the time and traffic. Taxis are also affected by traffic, and travel time to central Tokyo can take 1.5 to 2 hours. They're ideal for late night or early morning flights when other options are unavailable, or if you prioritize comfort. But if you're on a budget, they may not be the best choice. Most taxis accept credit cards, but it's a good idea to have cash just in case. Also, look for taxis with green license plates, as these are licensed. Taxis without green plates could be unlicensed and may overcharge you, so avoid those. The taxi stand is located right outside the arrival gate, and the stands are organized by area, so you can easily find the right one. Number 5. Private taxis. Private taxis or high-end taxi services offer even more comfort and must be booked in advance. With this service, a driver will meet you at the arrival gate, holding a sign with your name. Very reassuring, especially if it's your first time in Japan. Private taxis are more spacious and have luxury interiors, so you can travel in comfort. Many private taxis provide English-speaking drivers, so you don't have to worry about the language barrier. The cost is higher than a regular taxi, around 30,000 to 40,000 yen from Narita to central Tokyo. The fare is confirmed before your trip, so there's no worry about extra charges. I've included links to major private taxi companies in the description below. So, feel free to check them out. Number 6. Airport bus. Lastly, I have the airport bus. You can buy bus tickets at the counter right outside the arrival gate at Narita. Popular buses from Narita include the airport bus Tokyo Narita and Limousin bus. The airport bus Tokyo Narita goes directly to Tokyo Station, with a fare of just 1,500 yen. Very affordable. It operates frequently during the day, so you don't have to wait long. The Limousin bus provides direct service to major hotels and sightseeing areas, so if you're staying in places like Shinjuku, Ginza, or Roppongi, it's very convenient. It's designed to accommodate large suitcases and luggage, and you can store them in the compartment under the bus before boarding. Some buses also offer free Wi-Fi, allowing you to check maps or look up destinations on the go. However, like taxis, buses are affected by traffic, so make sure to allow extra time in case of delays. The limousine bus has many direct routes to major hotels and tourist spots, making it ideal for travelers with lots of luggage. 
For example, if you're staying in popular areas like Shinjuku, Ginza, or Roppongi, this bus is a great choice. The fare is around 3,100 yen one way, making it a more affordable and straightforward way to reach your destination compared to a taxi. So, that's my guide to the main ways of getting from Narita Airport to Tokyo. With options including trains, taxis, and buses, each has its advantages in terms of cost, travel time, and comfort. I hope this video helps you choose the best method for your travel plans and budget. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. See you in the next video.